putting on the last sticker. So there we go. That's really how I do my fire. That'll do. Yep. Oh, hell yeah. I got a little bit more lighting for the van and I actually got this a while ago, um, but I'm gonna do the installation right now and show you what I got. That switch panel is really rad because mine, I did a good job making it, but it, it did kind of fall down and it works pretty good. You know, still works. You see the light out there. But um, yeah, anyway, I got a better one that's gonna go in there. And this thing's really sharp. This is gonna be super nice to put like right up there, up above my mirror. And then I got these things. So what these things are is essentially, this is like a roadside flare. And I'm gonna keep these in the van just for emergencies and stuff like that. You can drive right over top of these things and or you stick them to the side of your, your car. And they're small, they're reusable, they're rechargeable. It comes with all this stuff to charge it up. Everything you need. I also have some more of these pod lights. There we go. I got two more of these guys. I'll put a link down below for all of this stuff, you guys, so you know where to get it, stuff like that. But these are the same uh, little pod lights that I got up here beside the light bar. So those ones I've got set up in amber, and these ones, I'm hoping I can put them back here on this corner of my hood. I think that's where it makes sense. Otherwise, I could put them way back up here on top of this part of my roof rack, but this is pretty far back. I'm gonna lose a lot of light. It's gonna get shadowed out by the roof and stuff. So this one's gonna go right here, and the idea is just to point it off exactly like this so it shines out to the side like this, um, just to see wildlife and stuff like that on the sides of roads, that sort of thing, prevent prevent an accident. And if I wanna put them, I can turn them so they're straight, give me a little bit more light in the front as well. So I can set it up essentially however I want. And I got these lights too. These I'm pretty excited about. Uh, this is a flush mount hazard light they just come like this and that's why i kind of had this all pre-set up is because i was trying to figure out how to wire them in so that they work and function with this switch panel and i think i've got that sorted out because these guys oxby made this switch panel more recently they've been making these lights here for other purposes for a while and this is a new product of theirs this whole thing has got a nice cover on it with extra fuses and fuse pliers this is gonna go right up in there in the van. So I'm gonna kinda go through this one quickly, but uh, we'll just go ahead and get this stuff put in the van. And uh, yeah, now it's late in the afternoon, so I'm probably gonna be doing a little bit of this today and then maybe some more of this tomorrow, perhaps the day after. I, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but uh, I'm just gonna take my time with it. Uh, but the video, we're gonna keep it kinda short, as much as I can, so that's it. This is cool. There we go. I'm just gonna throw this in here for now. that center lines there.
These are really nice guys. They come with this little foam backer that goes right over top of it. And that gives it a really nice uh, tight fit. And these things are perfect for the solar panel because I go right through there. I'm below the glass right on the center line. And then I got the mounting hole right there and there. And it's just, it sits there beautifully. Really like this. Look at this. I'm not using the screws that they supplied. Instead, I'm using these little, uh, it's kind of like a little wood screw actually. But this is working so far pretty good. The aluminum is uh, basically, it's hollow. There's a, there's a space inside. And so it's going through a thin piece and then a space and then another thin piece. So I'm just using this to kind of thread into the sheet metal. And it might be enough, hopefully it is. Otherwise, I'll have to swap it out later. That's great. That's it. Ooh. Sweet, man. That looks cool. So I got those ones. I one over there. Two on the side here. Two in the back. And these ones, I kind of set them in a little bit, so they look like that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Starting to look like a police car almost. So I'm just gonna leave that for now and focus on installing this guy. Get that in there. Okay, it was hard to uh, film this part, but I installed the little control panel down in this area. And uh, I just couldn't quite get in here with my camera. But in any case, I got the positive wire going to the positive terminal, negative to negative. This little red wire here is meant to go to like an ignition circuit like a cigarette lighter or um, a radio or something like that and it comes with a little fuse jumper right here um, but I'm I'm not wiring this to the starter battery or the vehicle necessarily I want to be able to control these lights um, at all times and not when the en engine's running so all I did is I just ran that from there straight to here and that's going to give me pretty well constant positive um, it'll just keep this this thing on Then this wire here. This is the controller wire. So that's gonna go up. I'm gonna do that next to mount my controller up there um, And I still have to get the lights in here. These are the light wires right there and Right here And I still got to do the ones back up there on the solar panel. So I got to run run those ones, too But this is a good start essentially I just made this little aluminum bracket right there and that one right there just to hold it in place. So this is really solid, secure. And then this just goes right over top. And it's a real nice, neat, clean package. This will all be really tidied up in there and it should be uh, should be pretty good. That kit also came with some wire right here. Um, obviously, I didn't use that. And it comes with a 60 amp switch breaker. Um, this is great, but what I ended up doing a while back is I installed a fuse in the back and I could put this in its place, but I'm just gonna leave that fuse that I have in here right there instead. This is gonna be kind of hard to fit in, but it does come with one of these things, which is really cool. Um, but I'll probably save this for something else. I might use it in like maybe a solar setup or something like that, but I'll just hang on to this for another project. <laughs> Sweet, that does that. That's pretty solid. Yeah, I dig it. I gotta fix the uh, the Jeffy Bear carving. It fell down the other day. Um, it's actually fallen down quite a few times. And it is around here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, so I guess uh, the threads in this little hole here kind of worn worn themselves out enough, been down in enough bumpy roads that it just pushes right out. So 
I'll put some glue in there and kind of do it up again and that'll be that. take a break. I've been wearing this hat to keep the sun off of me. And uh, ooh. the next step in this is uh, right around the corner. Putting on the last sticker. And I don't have this yet, but I'm putting it right there. There we go. Nick just told me that there's an omelet inside waiting for me with my name on it, so I'm gonna go have that. And uh, I'll come right out here and finish this up. Nick bought one of these babies. That's a heat gun, so I'm gonna give that a go. Um, I also have mine, which is this little butane one that I've had for quite a while. And that one works pretty good for small stuff, but it is a takes a long time for that really big heat shrink. In any case, I'm gonna kind of wire this up, try and just do it. It's pretty straightforward. Actually, it's not that straightforward. Um, these lights come with five wires, and it does have instructions, and I followed them, but I'm not able to get them to all go in sync, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it's kind of where I'm at with this sort of thing, and I'm just gonna say, screw it, and I'm gonna leave out the white wire, and, uh, not bother with it. The white wire is supposed to go in sync when you connect it to the yellow wire, but it it doesn't actually do that from what I'm doing, and I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, so I'm, I'm just gonna kind of leave it at that. Um, I, I did ask these guys, and they've, they've, they haven't got back to me exactly on how to do it with the switchboard, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wire this in. The way I'm gonna wire this in. There we go. Put all those guys off. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's as, that's as much as I'm probably gonna go with lighting on this van, you guys. Um, it's a lot of work putting all these things together. I suppose like I could go crazy and put a big light bar right across the top, but I'm pretty sure that's just gonna wash out my windshield. And uh, yeah, it, you know, Mark fixed up that, that top of the roof there and it'd be kind of a tricky place, that thing to put something. In any case, that's, plenty plenty of lighting for me these ones i'm going to have on an individual switch so i can turn on probably this one more often and just shoot it off to the side here to see like what's what's over there as i'm driving down a road like wildlife and that kind of thing and well you know keep things even i just put the other one over there i suppose i could have put that somewhere else but uh i think that's that's pretty cool thanks oxbeam i really appreciate this one um <laughs> I think that you got my lighting sorted out in this van for sure. Really cool. So had I, I'm, I really wish they made a white one because the main purpose I got those ones up on the roof 
was to illuminate an area around camp and it'll still achieve that same goal. I was just gonna cast out an amber light. But then I was thinking <clears throat> that one time I, my whole battery system died on me and I had to call a tow truck. I was basically stalled out in an intersection. I couldn't turn on my hazards or any of that sort of stuff and let oncoming traffic know that I was down. Because this operates off my house batteries, I wanted to be able to use this um, like hazard lights or something like that just to let people know like, yeah, uh, something's going on. And there's 18 different flashing modes for these LEDs. There's five wires for each light. It's um, not exactly meant to be paired with that switch panel up in the front. And I did try to set it up and it just, it took too much time. So I just left it the way it is. So it's just on or off and that's how I'm gonna have it set. Now there's something cool with the switch panel that'll allow me to still use it in hazard mode, just not with all the fancy flashing patterns. And that's the, uh, that's the app. So there's the app right there. What you can do is you can change the color of the LED on the switch, depending on what you want. Also, we can make it really bright or dim it right down. But my roof lights, if I put that into pulse mode, then I can adjust it and have it go in pulse, which is gonna work like a hazard. So there we go. And then it's flashing like that. So that sort of works like the hazard that I had in mind. So if I'm, on the road somewhere and uh, you know, I got a breakdown or something like that or I wanna let people know that something's up, I can, I can do that. So yeah guys, the cool thing too is with this app, it can control all the lights remotely. There we go. Pretty slick. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, um, I can be laying in my bed and if something goes on outside, I could just open up this app and uh, hit my lights, boom, and then have a look, look outside the window and see what's going on. So that's pretty cool. my friend Mary Eve. And I met her at Spanish Banks. And this used to be Jasper Sun. What? Your, uh, your life? No. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Are you filming? Yes. Oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, look at this cute little place. Home. Yeah, it's very nice. Can yeah. come on in? Sure. So, <laughs> to make a fire, you need a machete. <laughs> First ingredient, and then you poke the bear. Yeah. No, I use um. Oh, those little uh, blocks. Yeah, yeah. You. It's, it's sticky. Oh, I didn't want to touch it, but I'm gonna touch it. Yeah. No, you're in so the it's city. Made, so. uh, it's made with coffee. Oh no, not this one. And bear poop. Really? And a torch. Because <laughs> I told you, I'm really, really lazy. <laughs> hey man, just do your thing. That's really how I do my fire. I used to do all kinds of ways, gather some kindling with matches. Oh gosh, did I do it all? And, and now, now you just kind of do this? Yeah, yeah, I've evolved. Maybe this is what it's meant to be. <laughs> 
when I was in Squamish, I was staying at the Walmart there for a while. There was a few trucks in there that had these kind of things in them. And uh, I, I remember it was after the forest fire season. And for some reason, like, like there was days and nights where I couldn't get away from the smoke. Mm-hmm. I was breathing it night and day in the van and there was just no escape. And as ever since then, I just became like almost allergic to it. Mm-hmm. And then I was in this camping lot in the or camp like Walmart parking lot. And these guys had these chimneys like this. And there was the odd occasion where the smoke was billowing into my roof vent and it mm-hmm. filled up my whole van. And I was mm-hmm. choking on the smoke on get out. I'm like, what the heck? And I could oh, wow. see see the smoke coming out of their chimney and it was like going down over the parking lot straight yeah. onto my van like yeah. a cloak. And I'm like, how the hell is this happening? It depends what you burn. I remember and, yeah, there was remember one that Mike? smelled really like garbagey. Yeah. Mike that happened beside Mike too, Mike's yeah. big army truck. Yeah, yeah same I, thing. Many times I would I would wake up in the morning all stuff like I have like his smoke, but mine for some reason I think because the chimney stack is so high and there's a way to not put it like to have it not smoke so <laughs> clean burning and all that burning. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I clean it, I clean it constantly. <clears throat> But uh, we could, um, so now it's oh, really I, I love hot. the idea of and it, then I think it's just great. close it and you make a slow burn, it's going to become really hot. Mm. And if you go outside, it barely smokes. Yeah. But if you, <laughs> if you burn a bunch of shit, it's going to smell like shit, for sure. <laughs> you burn well, you're burning <laughs> bear shit in there, you already told me that. <laughs> shit. Uh, I like the um, recycled coffee ones. Recycled <laughs> Java, coffee? Java logs. Java logs. <laughs> Uh, but they they just burn better and there's no hassle with it. Oh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> country but uh, that is gonna light up the camping area around the van just fine at least so I can see what I'm doing <laughs> that's not a bad view mm-hmm oh, yeah those things are great I'm gonna have to Play with the angles there in the front but uh I'll, I'll wait until like i'm in the back country and stuff to do that for now i'm in the front country taking care of business but i'm feeling really good about the stuff i'm getting head on right now and uh freedom is right around the corner i feel like like it's it's it, they can feel it it's really good so anyway um i'll share more on that and stuff in upcoming videos but uh, I just wanted to, I don't know, put those lights in. They're really cool. Um, these little upgrades I'm doing to the van right now are, are pretty cool because I haven't, you know, that didn't cost me anything. It just cost me my time to put it in. So um, getting a brand deal or stuff like this coming up or what do you call that? It's not a brand deal, but when a company's like, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll send you something. And, and I'm like, okay. I guess next up I'm going to have to get a, a camera here to go on my mirror. I want to get one of those mirror ones. Uh, so I'm going to look at one of those and uh, I don't know, we'll see. But um, <clears throat> yeah, little upgrades to the van. There's a bunch and, uh, but I'm really looking forward to just getting out and being in the van. I've been pretty well cooped up as you guys know uh, in Victoria. I say cooped up, but really I should re, you know, choose a different set of words and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm gonna brew a cup of coffee and get on with my day. So I'm gonna say bye and we'll see you guys in the next one. Um, yeah, time, time to carry on. Looks freaking awesome out there.
All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.